Now, open your book on page 21. Page 21, exercise number 3. Read. Now, students, a gente vai saber the end of the story. O que, que será que aconteceu, hein, pessoal? Vamos lá? Let's go. After a hard climb down the mountain, Simon finally arrived at the base camp. Students, então Simon, depois que ele cortou a corda, ele voltou para o acampamento, certo? After a hard climb down the mountain, né? Depois de uma longa e difícil escalada, né? Pela montanha, Simon finally arrived at base camp. He found a tent that he and Joe had left there and got inside. The tent protected him from the wind and snow. Now he was safe. Então, students, agora que ele estava lá no acampamento, ele estava seguro, certo? Protegido da neve e do vento. He found a picture of his friend in his backpack and spent a long time looking at it. Just a few hours ago, Joe and Simon were at the top of the mountain. They were so happy and excited. Now, Joe was gone and Simon felt sad and depressed. He wondered, did I do the right thing? Então, students... Depois que ele achou uma imagem, uma foto do Joe, né? Ele ficou pensando se ele tinha feito a, co a coisa certa, não é? Did I do the right thing? Será que eu fiz a coisa certa? Simon stayed at base camp. He often looked up at the mountain and listened for Joe's shouts. He waited and waited, thinking about his friend. But he saw nothing and heard nothing. Então, students, ele ficava esperando que o Joe voltasse, mas o Joe não voltava, não é mesmo? He hoped, that, he hoped that Joe was still alive. Ele esperava que Joe ainda estivesse vivo. He hoped that Joe was still alive. But after three long days, he realized that Joe was not going to come back. Então, depois de três dias esperando, pessoal, Simon, he waited for three long days. And then, ele percebeu que o Joe não iria voltar, certo? He realized that Joe was not going to come back. Finally, he started packing up the equipment. He planned to leave the next day. Então, no quarto dia, ele decidiu ir embora, certo? He planned to leave the next day. That night, outside the tent, he could hear the wind blowing. After many hours, he fell asleep. He had a terrible nightmare. In his dreams, he heard Joe yelling, Simon! Simon! He wanted to help Joe. But it was only a dream. Então, pessoal, ele tinha muitos nightmares, pesadelos, certo? Nightmares about Joe. The, text, the next morning, Simon opened his eyes. The warm sun was shining through the tent. There wasn't any wind. Então, pessoal... O clima tinha melhorado bastante. Não tinha mais aquele vento, né? E o sol estava brilhando. The sun was shining. Very far away, Simon heard Joe yelling. Simon! He thought it was only his imagination. Então, pessoal, Simon, he heard Joe. Joe screaming. Joe yelling. Simon! E ele achou que era só fruto da imaginação dele. He thought it was only his imagination. Then he heard it again. 
He opened the tent and looked around. The sun reflected off the snow. Simon blinked his eyes and looked around. It was quiet. Suddenly, he heard his name again. In the distance, he saw his friend crawling toward him in the snow. He couldn't believe Joe was alive. Então, pessoal, o Joe apareceu lá se rastejando, crawling, certo? Ele estava vivo. Joe was alive. Now, Joe writes books about mountain climbing. Então, pessoal, depois que tudo isso acabou, tudo ficou certo. Tudo ficou muito bem. Agora, now, Joe writes books about mountain climbing. He gives classes about courage and motivation. He and Simon still climb mountains. Até hoje, pessoal, they still climb mountains. Olha só que bacana. E aí, pessoal, gostaram? Do you like this story? It's based on real facts. Baseado em fatos reais, certo? Agora sim podemos fazer os exercícios. <música>